Hello everyone, I'm Jonah, technical artist at KJ Interactive. Today I thought we'd take a look at the new timeline based vertex animation tools found in the 4.8 update of Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to put down an annotation here so you can skip the vertex animating part if uh, you already know how to do that. And uh, for those who don't know or just feel like uh, following along, uh, let's just get to it. First of all, I'm just going to grab a few of the vertices on my little pig. And uh, secondly, I'll create a keyframe to set my base rotation scale and position on key zero. Now I'll enable order key and soft selection. It might just be a demo, but a little bit of eye candy never hurt anyone. With order key enabled, I can just start rotating at once and uh, make sure that preserve UVs is unselected first. Now we'll just um, add that rotation and uh, we'll create a few more maybe we'll move it as well to see if that works uh, yeah also let's uh, scale it a little and rotate some more we'll create another keyframe and keep rotating do some more extreme scaling rotate a bit more scale a bit more add a final keyframe and then we'll just take the first keyframe copy it to the end and make sure our little animation loops. Let's uh, play it then and oh yeah that's, that's glorious. Truly worthy of a triple A title. Next we'll grab our script. You can find it in your Epic Games 4.8 directory under uh, Engine Extras uh, 3ds Max scripts. From here you drag and drop vertex animation tools.ms into your uh, 3ds Max viewport and uh, here you have the window we'll be working with. And this is actually something we should have done before starting with the animation. Make sure you go to uh, Customize and uh, Unit Setup. Here you'll find uh, System Unit Setup. Make sure it's set to centimeters, otherwise this might go wrong. Also make sure this is set to generic units. Just press OK once that's done. And we'll get into the real epic magic of this entire endeavor. Press the Process Animated Meshes button and let's see what happens. It seems to be processing my mesh and now I'll just switch to a better place for my textures and I'll save my EXR as pig underline uh, anim test. As you see here in my export folder I got pig anim test underline normals.bmp and pig anim test.exr. These are the textures that will drive the animation later in Unreal. As you also see, we have this uh, new mesh version of my Echo Pig with a sub name of underline morph export. With it selected, I'll make sure I go to export selected and I'll save this as sm underline Echo Pig underline anim vertest underline 00. The last thing that's important is uh, here in the export uh, window. Uh, make sure that smoothing groups is uh, selected and then uh, we'll just go with OK and head into Unreal.